Hey everybody, Neil here, back with another episode. If you're watching my time, <laughs> it's been like three minutes. Yeah, I know. I don't have shit to do today. And I am not doing shit today, except catering to you bitches. Bitches, I mean my lovely viewers. Don't say that. So anyways, um, we were going to do names today. Let's do names. Let's, let's check out names. So, um, we have our assets folders. We have a block in here, right? Our copper ore. We have our copper ingot. We need to create another assets folder. So we're going to do new package and this is going to be assets assets dot deal <laughs> craft dot lang like so like Stephen Lang you know the evil dude from Avatar assets dot neocraft dot lang in here we are going to go ahead and do a uh, untitled text file and this is pretty straightforward right pretty straightforward what we want to do is we want to name the items that we have in game well let's do that so let's go in and find out how they're actually showing up. And then once you get used to how these names appear in game, um, it'll be easier for you to just go like right off the bat and do it. So uh, this is a tile.copperore.name, item.copperingot.name. Right? This is the only two things that we've created, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. We will come into here, and we are going to start out with tile dot copper or dot name no space between your uh, your equal signs we're going to call that copper or item dot copper ingot dot name equals copper ingot whoa somebody hit the insert key copper ingot space and that's seriously it we need to save as we actually want to save this. We're going to have to point to the folder that it's in. Neocraft assets Neocraft Lang. And we want to save this as en underscore us dot lang. Like so. Make sure that you're putting it in that Lang folder. So we do that. And we're going to leave this open because we're going to use a lot of it. And um, Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's do this. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it came out right. We can tinker around a little bit. Copper ore, copper ingots. So that's how you name, right? Now, you know, this is only, we're only like three minutes into this episode, and I don't feel like just covering items is enough. So let's actually talk about. Um, Let's create our own custom tab. So let's pull up our main modding class. And what we are going to do is we're going to create our own creative tab. So underneath mod ID, we are going to do public. Um, I can never spell public right. I don't know what the deal is. Public static creative tabs and we're going to name it. So what do we want to name it? I'm going to name mine Neocraft tab. Like so. We're going to import that. Um, this is it's just my mod, right? And then just tab helps me. It's, it makes it easier to identify later. You could put dog shit here, literally. Dog shit. And it's not going to matter as long as you're calling it as dog shit later on. Right? These are variables. They can be anything. They just hold data. Uh, we're not going to call it a dog shit, though. Although, it would be sweet if we did. But that wouldn't really teach you a lot. Like, why does why does Neil go through and name all his variables after 1980s porn stars? Well, have you seen Christy Canyon? She's amazing. And if you haven't, never mind. Anyway. Uh, 
let's come down here and get this let's get this bad boy rolling so um deal craft tab is going to equal new creative tabs um, and uh, I think we want to put our mod ID in here, Neocraft. And this is a method, so we're going to do this. And Neocraft tab showing up. Probably because we still have errors. So, what we need to do is we need to say side only. And we're going to say side dot client. I had some uppercases in there. Let's get rid of those. And then down here, what we're going to do, so we're going to create the tab, right? That's easy, but we want a little icon on there. And what I want to do is let's go ahead and actually put our, um, let's put our, uh, what do you say? Our copper ore is the icon. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we're going to say public item get tab uh, icon item and we are going to return item dot get item from block and then that block is going to be neocraft dot copper ore just like that we got some imports to do side only. It's got side. Um, hmm. Why is this not working? Does it not match? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Works perfect. So there's our tab, right? Now, what we've done already in our classes over here, so like our Neocraft items, we said to automatically just put this under tab materials. What we actually want to do is we want to set creative tab. We're going to set this to Neocraft dot Neocraft tab, just like so. And we're going to do the same thing to our copper ore. So we're going to come back over here to copper ore, tab block. We just want this to be neocraft dot neocraft tab, like so. Now, so we've got that built. We've got our awesome tab built, and it's actually going to show the copper ore as the icon on it. So let's run this and see what happens. And then it, it'll actually allow us an opportunity to follow up on the first part of our video. So that's cool. Round robin. It's, getting, it's coming full circle, round robin. What am I saying? So we have um, our guys right here, uh, but we are not in the right game mode. So let's go to the game mode. New tab. So you'll see here is this bad boy, right? Our copper ore, and then we see our items, our specific items to Neil Craft or your craft already in here. But you'll see that we have item group dot Craft. So what we want to do is come in here, and we're gonna come up top, and we're gonna say item group dot Craft equals no space. We're just going to say this, this is just Neocraft, right? And I'm going to put some space between these two. So there we go. So now when we exit out, remember that we got to completely exit Minecraft so that way it loads up this lang file from the beginning. We should see our creative tab not only having our items but having the icon and then also having the name corrected on it as well. I like how you get that achievement every single time. Neocraft. Neocraft. 
Pretty awesome, eh? Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, uh, what did we cover? We covered our Lang, right? So we did our naming and all that stuff. And then we also did uh, Creative Dev. Awesome, guys. And gals. And friends. And people. And bitches. Love you all. Uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below if you need anything. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one. Okay, bye. Just kidding. He, 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 he. I'm going to take these up. Oh. I wasn't in the right mode.